In this screencast, I'm going to show you how you can easily um, search for and download uh, electronic books, also known as uh, ebooks, using two different services that are available to you online. Um, and also how you can uh, get audiobooks uh, that are for free. And um, all you need is simply an internet connection, and then you also need a, a browser, just like Internet Explorer or in this case, I'm using Firefox. It could be any browser at all. And then you need to go to, uh, to a few addresses that I will provide uh, for you here. One is called uh, www.guttenberg.org. Now, I don't know if you know this, but uh, the guy called Guttenberg was the guy who invented the book press. Um, and uh, the books that are available to you here are all... Um, um, free of charge first of all and then they're also uh, open source which means that there is no copyright usually these are books that are um, kind of they're not the newest um, releases they're kind of old and because they're old uh, there are no longer any copyrights uh, attached to these titles and uh, what you have to do is uh, uh, simply to go to uh, this uh, website and then you have to go and start looking for the book that you're interested in. Now, there are uh, several ways that you can uh, search for books. You can uh, look around for books by browsing or, you know, search the catalog, browse the catalog, or you can look for book categories. Now, I'm quite uh, confident that I'm looking for uh, a Sherlock Holmes um, uh, story. So, uh, I'm going to um, write Sherlock Holmes here in the search website. And, uh, uh, then I'm getting some uh, results here, some search results, and perhaps now I didn't search in the right... I want to search the book catalog, actually. <laughs> it was the wrong field that I searched in. You have to kind of just uh, find your way around here by uh, trying and correcting errors. So uh, here are my results. There are several books. Uh, there's even a, a, an audiobook here, The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes, as you can see. Um, I am actually interested in um, uh, a book called The Return of Sherlock Holmes, which is a collection of short uh, stories. So I'm going to look for this, The Return of Sherlock Holmes. Now, there are several ways that I can uh, look uh, into a book here. If I have a, um, um, a device like a, a, a Kindle from Amazon, or if I have a, an iPad or some other tablet, I can download the EPUB or the Kindle uh, version of the book and I can then transfer it to my iPad or to my Kindle uh, or there are some other also some other formats down here uh, how to transfer to your to your device uh, I won't be covering in this um, in this uh, screencast I'll just show you how to find the book basically uh, but there's also an HTML version here which is uh, uh, the one that I'm gonna uh, look into here and as you can see what happens is that uh, your your um, um, your book simply just pops up in the um, in in the browser. The one that I'm interested in is uh, the Adventure of the Dancing Men, which I have right here. And if I click on the link, then all of a sudden I'm in the middle of the story. I can just start read uh, the uh, the Sherlock Holmes story, the Adventure of the Dancing Men. Also, uh, another service available is uh, feedbooks.com, which is basically the same thing. It's a, it's a, it's a collection of books that are uh, free, freely available to you. And uh, if you're interested in reading something, it would be a good idea to, to search here. The difference between um, feedbooks and, um, and um, uh, Gottenberg.org is that uh, that on feedbooks there are also new kind of uh, unknown authors that are writing their own material and, and making it available here. So in a way you could say that that um, there there are newer things available to you here. Also some of the titles here, as you can see, there uh, they have a price label, so you have to to buy them. But there are also free public domain books, as you can see right here, and free original books. So you can search for, uh, for material uh, for different genres and, and uh, things that are interesting to you. And then if you want to um, pay a little to get it, you can do that. Or if you only want to uh, download things that are for free, you're, uh, you're free uh, to, to do so. Okay, so those two services I would recommend, uh, gottenberg.org and feedbooks.
sherlockholmes.com. Now, say you have downloaded uh, uh, Sherlock Holmes' uh, story and you feel a bit um, uh, inconfident uh, reading it uh, um, and you would like somebody to read it out loud to you. Um, for this, um, I would recommend that you look into LibriVox.org to see if uh, a book has been recorded. LibriVox.org is a, uh, um, uh, a site where people read um, open source books and record them and then upload them to the site so that they're available to uh, the public. And uh, as you can see, when you go to LibriVox.org, there are two kind of main areas here on the front page. One is the listen area, and then there's the read area. Now, if you're a really good English reader and you like to read out loud, you might want to volunteer and, um, and uh, participate in um, making the LibriVox library even bigger than it is already. There are many titles in here, but, you know, you could probably... Um, participate in, in making it grow because not all books available in the world are here obviously but uh, for this purpose we're gonna see if we can find something to listen to so I'm gonna click on the LibriVox catalog and uh, when I do that um, I will be taken to um, a search field here where I can look for uh, a title or an author and I know that I'm looking for Sherlock Holmes here so I'm gonna write that and uh, I'm just going to search and see if there's something available to me. Now, I know that it's uh, the book in question here is the one called The Return of Sherlock Holmes. So as you can see, it's actually available to me here. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to see if if um, I can even go in and pick the the uh, the um, um, the episode that I'm interested in. And actually, it's right here: The Adventure of the Dancing Men, Part One. The Adventure of the Dancing Man Part 2. So it's broken up into two parts here, as you can see. And uh, it says here that the first part uh, lasts 28 minutes and 1 second, and the second one lasts 38, 32, seconds and four, uh, 32 minutes and 4 seconds. And uh, available to me here are uh, three different sound qualities. There's MP3 uh, in a good quality, MP3 in a less, in an even better quality, and uh, MP3. Uh, here for the second one in two different qualities. And then there's also uh, Og Vorbis, which is probably not uh, something that would be interested to you. But if you know what this means and if you prefer this uh, format to the MP3 format, then you should probably choose that. If, if you're happy with MP3, then you should just go for that. And in this case, since it's just reading, uh, I would suggest that you just take the smaller one because it's, it's actually fairly, it's, it's good enough, you know. So by downloading this to your computer or to your MP3 player, you can actually listen to the text being read while you uh, read the story of the adventure of the dancing man. And so you will get some kind of audible support for your reading uh, while you um, go through one of uh, the big uh, classics of literature. So this was just a presentation of how to uh, obtain uh, ebooks and audiobooks um, online using gutenberg.org or feedbooks.com and librivox.org.